Okay, what's going on boys? No guides here, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna go through a tactics setup. I'm gonna go through all the tactics and instructions to show you and hopefully you'll get a couple more wins from this. Now, um, this is my team that I use. Don't forget, I don't actually play 4-5-1 in game. It's just for, your pure, for purely chemistry purposes. And then I changed to one of these formations in the game. Now, as I mentioned, there's two tactics videos. The one on Friday is if you wanna go for that 20 and 0. This video is for like, let's say you can get 20 and 0, but you want to get 18 and 2 or 19 and 1 and you want to have fun. So let's say you're sitting there, you're like, no, you know what? I normally get 16 and 4. If you don't mind getting 15 and 5 or 14 and 6 and having much more fun, then these are tactics to go with. In fact, I use these tactics more than trial tactics. At the end of the day, if you're not having fun, what's the point of playing FIFA? So um, these are my tactics to have fun. So I'm going to go through them. So the first one is the 4 2 3 1. It's still a defensive tactic, but it's not a park the bus. For those that watch me, I don't really park the bus. Even when I'm winning 2-0, I may like maybe play a bit of time management in the last 10 minutes, but I don't really park the bus or play very defensive. So 4-2-3-1 here, balance. I just increase the depth and the width. I still have slow build-up play just because I prefer this. And I think if you have a, a defensive tactic, you do want the slow build-up play. That way, if someone is pressing you, you have your team build up slowly and you have more passes short and passes to get out of the opponent's press. I think slow build up play is really the way to counter, I would say, a very tight constant pressure from the opponent. Forward runs and 60 width and we've increased the players in the box to 7. Now, I don't normally do this, but I just can't I can't kind of to myself, you know what, it's about having fun. A lot of people, you know what, I've started to even pass the ball a lot more inside the box instead of recycling it. So don't forget, the 4 2 is still the best formation in the game. We've made it a bit more attacking than usual, so I'll explain what we've done. We put stay forward, get it behind, and stay central for the striker. But the can we put it on stay forward, get it behind, and conservative. So you get that cam and that striker, the center forward striker type system. The lamina ram, we left them both on balance. We put them on get into the box or across to make it much more attacking. And both CDMs and cut passing lanes stay back while attacking and cover center. And um, what you can do is you can, of course, put one of these guys to balance or if they haven't got good work, let's put them on get forward to be even more attacking. But you see myself, I normally trigger my LCDM and right CDM forward manually myself. So that's why I have them on stay back while attacking. The left back and right back is on conservative and overlap. And of course, you can always have these players make runs going forward by defending attacking tactics. So you can see that's my, although it's an ultra defensive tactic, it's still a, a very balanced. So it goes from balanced to even more attacking, if that makes sense. So anyway, let's go back down to the 5-2-1-2. Uh, a bit of, the tactics itself is, is not mainly different compared to the 5 2 2 I do have pressure on heavy touch. I would recommend putting this on balance uh, for most players. If you know you're comfortable with defending in a 5 2 this is gonna be a, a small majority of people, let's be realistic then you can go press out position loss. But for most of you, I would say stay on balance. If you want to apply a bit more pressure, press never touch is a more conservative pressing system. Um, long ball forward runs, so everyone makes those runs going forward. You can also use fast ball play or um, long ball. It doesn't really matter which one you use. People prefer long ball because it's a bit more slower. I prefer, I prefer fast ball play to the kind of spam going forward. Um, big width and loads of players in the box. So the idea behind this, this is basically a three, uh, a three, three, you can argue four system. So when you're attacking, you basically have these guys, they join very, very wide. You have your back three, and you end up having a 4-1-2-1-2 two, two, two in the middle. That is a terrible drawing of 4-1-2-1-2. Two, two. And a left back and right back that kind of go very, very wide on the outside. Um, this is probably the most fun formation I've played this year. If you play this formation, I can guarantee you'll have fun. You know, people say to me, hey, Neil, like you play this formation, maybe, you, like, let's say this, I might not get 10-0. I might get 10-1 or 9-1, should I say. But I'd rather do this and have fun. That's the thing. Um, especially if you don't like the gameplay, it's all about having fun. But that is um, the actual 5 2 1 2. And of course, I use Hug the Sidelines with these tactics. And so, strikers stay central, get it behind, stay forward. Cam stay forward, get into the box. I do use Conservative because I got Neymar there. Stamina is a big issue. Stay back, stay on the edge of the box for one of them and the other one as well on the edge of the box. You can always put one of these on, get forward. And you can leave one of these on balanced if you actually want to make it even more attacking. That is something that you could consider as well. But I trigger them myself, and I'm both of them on stay back while attacking. Left, right, uh, left, uh, sorry, don't left, sorry, left, right, left center back. Should I say right center back? I don't have them on anything like conservative. But what I do is I don't use step up either, but what I do is I use overlap for both of these guys. And the idea is when you go forward, they'll make overlapping runs to the halfway line. 
but they won't go beyond that unless you pass the ball to them. And that way you can do the passes between your right back and your left back and your left center back. These passes, these driven through balls down the wing. You'll know what I'm talking about because this formation is still glitched. All the players are still unmarked in this formation. Um, for the left backs and right backs, if you don't know what I'm talking about, about D-pad tactics, just copy, stay back while tag, uh, sorry, join the attack, conservative and overlap. But because I use the D-pad tactics for uh, attacking full backs, I leave them on stay back. Then what I do inside the game is activate the D-pad tactics, attacking full backs, it overrides this system, stay back while tagging, it makes them go forward and they stay on the outskirts. They, still, they stay unmarked. This is, I think, probably the, one of the top five formations this game, this year. Trust me, it really is. I have not put it in a meta setup because not everyone likes this. Um, because not everyone is good defensively with the ball. But trust me, I don't mind leaking a couple of goals here and there if I'm scoring much, much more. And uh, while I'm on that, I might as well just plug my Patreon series. Don't forget this video is sponsored by my Patreon series. Patreon.com forward slash Neil Guys. Link is down below in the description. For tutorials on how to get better at FIFA, we've got a complete in-depth um, we've actually got the, the jockey methods. We've got the player lock video that's coming out. We've got the 5212 um, attack patterns. So you ever wondered how to attack um, in a 5212? I have those on my Patreon and all the videos in an in depth format. So basically, it's a progressive format where you watch a video, it's all in a structured format. So every video, so whether it's your Division 1 player or you're a Division 10 player, I guarantee you'll learn something, even if you're up on um, the higher tier players in the game. But anyway, it's money back guarantee, so you don't get better after one month. I'll refund your mind, that is a no guys guarantee. Attack patterns, how to defend, how to attack, playoffs, walkthroughs, driven passes, chip metas, and things that are not even, not even the meta yet, but you'll see that when I make a video on this in February, you see everyone will start going berserk, but I actually discovered this in November. But anyway, that's the link for that. Patreon.com forward slash no guys, link is down below in the description. Um, you can probably sign up on the 1st of February. I'll say you sign up. If you're watching this now and it's January, sign up on the 1st of February. And now we can get a full month. Um, and if you don't, don't like it? I'll give you your money back. That's a no guys guarantee if you don't get bad after one month. Um, 352 is the one I still use a lot, heavily. Balanced, 45 width, 47 depth, long ball forward runs. Um, this is more defensive technically than a 5212, but the 5212 has um, the left back and right back. So for those who don't know, the left back and right back, they're on stay back while attacking. In a 352, the left their left mids and right mids, you can't have them on stay back while attacking. They can only come back on defense. So in theory, you could when you have possession of the ball and you go forward, you could still stay in a back line five. So that's why I put it one less than a 352. So although so you could argue 5212 is more attacking than a 352. Um, but the reason why they did 5212 there is because the left back and right backs actually stay back. So um, this is my tactics, long ball and forward runs, very, very important for the 3-5-2. Um, I don't use, I use harder signs with this formation. This is basically the same as the 5-2-1-2, except for these players are a bit more centralized, a bit more involved in play. So what I normally do is, if someone's got a very narrow width, they're overloading the ball side, I would use a 5-2-1-2. Because these guys, um, when you go forward, they're basically in their own, in their own lanes. And then they remained unmarked. If someone is playing wide anyway, then I go to the 352, which is a more centralized version. And of course, you do have CDMs. So uh, these are the instructions. Stay central, uh, stay forward for both the cam and uh, what well, the two strikers. The cam's on the stay forward, get, in, um, get into the box for a cross. Um, if you want to, you can make this a bit more defensive by having come back and defense. That way, when you're defending, you're defending a 5-3-1-1. That is why. Well. So you put this guy on come back in defense, he will make one of the midfielders. So you can do that to make it more defensive. But of course, I do it to me more attacking. Left mid and right mid, uh, come back in defense, get into the box and get in behind for both of these guys. No stay wide. We always just use hug the sidelines with this formation. Um, both CDMs on cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking while cover center. Again, like I mentioned, you can, of course, so let's say, for example, I normally have the more defensive guy on stay back. If you want to, for example, have one of these guys on get forward or balanced, feel free to do that. You can actually create a lot of overloads with that as well. You put that on stay back while attacking. And the left right back and left center back and right center back, put them on overlap as well. And that is the 3-5-2. Um, and the idea behind this is you'll, you'll ba it's basically the exact same thing as the 5 2 one except for it's a bit more defensive because you do have two CDMs. So they sit a bit deeper. Um, but the left mid and right mids, when they go forward, they're more involved in the attack. So I use hug the sidelines for both of these formations, but you'll see what I mean. 
the, and this one, the left back and right back, they're just so wide. They're playing like the, the David V and the Pedro of Pep Guardiola's Barcelona 2011. Very wide as possible, almost pinning the opponent's left backs and right backs to create space um, in between. Um, so let's say your opponent's playing a 4-4-2. It's going to create space in between these guys because your left back, right back, and, left back and right back is going to be there. It's going to pin. It's going to allow spaces to be exploited in between. And the 3 5 2 is a bit more centralized, and that's why I like it. And uh, then we go to the 4 4 2. So you can also use this formation from the get go. So let's say, for example, you're in a game and uh, you want to start with a 4 4 2. I actually do. Sometimes I might be 1 0 down at 20 minutes and I decide, you know what, let me just go straight to the 4 4 2 to apply pressure. So nothing has changed in terms of those tactics. Everything exactly the same. Of course, you can increase the plays in the box if you want to. Um, I'm kind of starting to do that a bit more now. It's kind of trying to change in a way I play a little bit more, making a bit more direct passes into the box as well, um, as opposed to just going backwards and recycling it all the time um, because I'm kind of getting a bit bored of that in terms of my play style. Um, stay forward, uh, balanced, and uh, stay central. Uh, one of them's on, um, the both of stay central, one's on get it behind, the one's on balance, the other one's on stay forward, and one's on come back and offense. Um, the come back and offense guys on get it behind. Left mid and right mid is just on come back and offense. So four and crosses is on balance because you've got a att higher attack in players in the box anyway. Um, you can always, if you want to, just tune this down like this, put that one less, and you can just force these guys in. You can even put, you can even put your players in the box on one but force these guys in. Um, left, left center mid, right center mid. Uh, one of these guys on stay back, stay on the edge and cover center. The other one is get into the box for cross, balanced and cover center. So the most second one is on balanced. You can always put him on get forward as well. Left back and right back on stay back, conservative and overlap. And for the rest of these, the goalkeepers are on balanced. Um, and that is basically the tactic. And don't forget, um, the actual tactic for starting chemistry is my anti-kickoff tactics. I don't actually use this. I'm just using the 4-5-1 for chemistry purposes. So when the game starts, um, so what happens is I don't use 4-5-1. Um, when, when I go into the game, I start on a 4-5-1. So that's why I got everyone on comeback and offense. This is my anti-kickoff tactic. So my opponent kicks off first. I've got an anti-kickoff tactic in place over here. Like so, everyone's on stay back. You can see in one of the center mids, or in this case, in the 4 5 ones on drop between defenders. And then I, once I've started the game, I then change another formation. So I normally change to a 4 2 3 1, 5 2 1, 2 2, 5 2, 4 4 2. Uh, but as I said, if you watch my streams, these are going to be the tactics that I will be using most of the time. It's because at the end of the day, it's all about having fun. And um, I've kind of, you know, in the last couple of years or so, you know, it was a bit different. Now I've kind of, you know, I've already proved my point, if that makes sense. Um, but like if I get like, you know, nine and one instead of 10 and no, do I care? I mean, like when I was before it was like, if I'm not getting 20 and no, I'm very upset. Whereas nowadays, if you're having a bit more fun, but you lose the game, it's better in my opinion. And I would recommend to every single person here, it's, it's not, unless you go for 20 and no, those tactics on Friday are different for you. And of course you can mix and match if you want. Um, but that is my team. Um, we're probably going to make a change. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I was thinking something along the lines of getting Lorente back in because I love him. I just think he's such a good player. But we've kind of gone with a bit of a different system here. We're going to try something like this out. And we're going to put Cloud Maurice and we are going to put um, Lorente as uh, midfielders. Something I'm going to try out and I kind of put uh, the chemistry on Marshall and move them back into the central area. Is that something I'm going to... Just give it a bit of a try if that makes sense but anyway guys yeah hope you enjoyed this video um thank you very much for watching and don't forget there'll be more videos on my channel of course i changed the manager as well i normally go with a spanish manager here i'm a spanish manager like arteta because he then gives the chemistry to lorente and he gives it to morales excuse me and then he's fine on six but yeah that's my tactics Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, I'll catch you next time. Peace out, boys. And don't forget, patreon.com forward slash nil, guys. Patreon link is down below in the description. For money back guarantee, if you don't get better after one month. Take it easy, boys.